Zoom has a new time code adapter, the TCA-1. The TCA-1 generates and outputs time code or jams to an external clock thanks to its precision temperature compensated crystal oscillator it generates ultra accurate time code staying within 0.5 frames over 24 hours that's crazy zoom also told me that the tca-1 will be compatible with the zoom h6 essential something i was concerned about i was pretty sure that it would be able to be compatible and zoom says yes it will zoom said they'll release a firmware update for this H6 Essential upon release of the TCA-1. So it's going to fit in that port where you put the BTA-1 in typically. Zoom apparently has delayed the WLM-1, and that was the capsule system that had the two wireless transmitters that you could use in conjunction with the XLR ports so you could have a boom mic going and both wireless systems going at the same time. So initially it said it was coming out in summer of 2025. Now on their website, it just says coming in 2026. There's never been any price listed for this unit. However, if I had to speculate, since you're getting the receiver that attaches to the top of the Zoom H6 Essential and the Zoom H5 Studio, and you're getting two transmitters, which both have ports to plug in your favorite lavalier mic, I'm guessing that that should run between $250 and $350. That's what I would assume, somewhere in that price range. I'm sure Zoom's going to try to keep it as tightly priced as possible. However, since it's 32-bit and it has the functionality it does, I think it's going to be somewhere in between that range. And while the unit was always going to be capable of recording the transmitters and the combo jacks at the same time, I had reached out to Zoom a while back and submitted a request. Yeah, I wanted the capability of being able to not only just record all those audio sources at the same time, which it was always going to do, but I also wanted to be able to dictate what I can send on the line out to the camera. Take, for instance, I want the WLM-1 wireless transmitters to go to the camera, but I still want to maintain all the other sounds recording. I think that little added tweak in functionality would be really beneficial. While I don't know if that was the intent to begin with, they did seem interested. The individual I communicated with anyway seemed interested in forwarding that idea to their engineers. So we'll see if they have something like that when it launches in 2026. I'm super excited to get my hands on that device because I do micro-budget filmmaking. I do local commercials. I do other content creation. I think it'd be just a really great setup for me instead of having to have another adapter to plug into an XLR combo port or something like that. So I'm still excited to get the WLM-1. However, we're going to have to wait a little longer, apparently. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Lastly, I wanted to mention that Zoom had a firmware update for the H6 Essential, and it is 2.10. So if you're like me and you absolutely never check for firmware updates, there's been one for a while now. In the firmware update, it says key fixes UltraSync Blue synchronization. This update fixes a problem where the H6 Essential wasn't correctly applying the FPS settings transmitted from an UltraSync Blue device, which resulted in synchronization issues. And then other minor issues. The update also addresses other minor bugs to improve overall performance and stability. There's a lot to like about the Zoom H6 Essential Handy Recorder. I'm sure there's plenty more coming down the pipe. As always, thank you.